Severe flooding in northern Thailand, Lampang, Sukho Thai, and Chiang Mai brace for impact. Floodwaters continue to submerge more areas in Lampang and Sukho Thai, with residents in these northern provinces relocating their belongings to higher ground and steering clear of flooded roads as advised. In Lampang, the Na Saring sub-district of Koh Kha district has been particularly affected, as the Wang River overflowed, flooding the eastern Ban Na Q bridge, an important route to Serm Ngam district, leading to significant transport challenges. Despite the rising waters, many residents have chosen to stay in their homes out of concern for their property. They have been seen wading through the water to receive food and water supplies from volunteers. Governor Chachuan Chayabutra of Lampang announced that the Kyu Ko Ma Reservoir in Wang Nuea District has been releasing water at a rate of 250 cubic meters per second since September 24 to relieve pressure on the dam. Similarly, the QLOM reservoir is draining water at a rate of 320-375 m cubed s, which could soon impact low-lying areas in Lampang's Muing district. The governor also warned that flooding might affect areas in Jehom district, particularly in Wichit Nakorn, Pongdon, Jehom, and Ban Sa sub-districts. Residents near the Wang River have been urged to relocate their belongings and prepare for further flooding. In Sukho Thai, a breach in the Yom River barrier on the evening of September 24 resulted in water levels rising to 50 to 80 centimeters at Sri Sangwan Temple and School. Due to the flooding, officials closed Jaratwai Titong Road in Sawankalok District, advising people to use Highway 1195 instead. Over 100 households scrambled to move to safety as floodwaters reached 1.5 meters in certain areas. Governor Suchit Tikasuk has coordinated rescue efforts with disaster response teams, and further flooding is anticipated. In Chiang Mai, authorities are bracing for worse conditions as the Ping River's water levels continue to rise. The Royal Irrigation Department has issued a warning, predicting that the river's depth could exceed 5 meters between 9 p.m. and 11 p.m., surpassing the record set during the 2011 floods. Riverside residents are being advised to prepare for potential flooding tonight. Meanwhile, in Mei Hong Sun's Pai district, resorts along the Pai River were submerged after the river overflowed early Wednesday morning. Tourists, including two Israeli nationals, and locals have been evacuated to safety. While the water level has stabilized, officials remain on alert for further evacuations if heavy rains persist. So far, there are no reports of injuries or missing persons. The economic impact of these floods has been severe. The Thai Chamber of Commerce estimates losses at over 242 billion baht, with Chiang Rai, Phayao, Sukho Thai, Nong Kai, and Nakhon Phanom among the hardest-hit provinces. Experts warn that climate change, exacerbated by El Nino and La Nina, may increase long-term damage, with agricultural, fisheries, and business sectors already suffering. Efforts to mitigate future flood damage have been urged, particularly in central Thailand and Bangkok. The government is under pressure to accelerate its climate action, as countries like Vietnam push for more ambitious emission targets. Thank you for being with us today. If you'd like to stay informed on the latest weather updates, be sure to like and subscribe to our channel. Stay dry, stay safe, and don't forget to check for any travel updates. Have a fantastic day!